In this series, we are touring the UK and Ireland, looking for the energy solutions of the future. Is there a sustainable energy solution to our energy needs? We meet some prominent individuals and companies spearheading development of sustainable energy, and we ask them, how will the world make the transition? And when will it happen? Are we there yet? Today I have the pleasure of meeting with Dr. Janis Brulakis, Langerak Professor of Civil and Information Engineering here at the University of Cambridge. Welcome to Future Models, Professor. Thank you for having me. Can you tell me a little bit about your role here, where we are at and your role in the construction industry? So, what my job is here at the University is to try to understand how we can use advances in computer science to improve the construction sector. Um, and more specifically, how can we enable construction with digital twins? How can we make sure that we can plan, design, construct and operate digital twins such that we provide value for the physical asset? What major sustainability challenges does the construction industry face today, especially concerning around energy consumption? By the time you get to the construction site and you start delivering things, you can do quite a lot, of course, to improve, be more efficient, use less energy, but actually quite a lot of the decisions have already happened for you by then. Uh, we can save a lot more in terms of energy at the design phase and also at the planning phase. Do I need to build the asset altogether? If I need to build it, how big does it have to be really? Uh, and what can I use to make it most energy efficient, both at construction phase as well as at operation phase? These types of decisions have the greatest impact uh, in construction. Now, having said that, the construction process itself could improve quite a lot. And that's because it's very easy to walk into any construction site and see quite a lot of uh, resources, either humans or machines, uh, idling and not producing as they should. A lot of that has to do with poor planning. And the planning is what comes before. And that's the part, I think, where we need to put a lot more attention uh, if we want to improve our energy usage. Now, as we work towards transitioning towards a sustainable future, sustainable energy, what do you think are some of the skills that AAC professionals in general and students require in order to help us reach there? I would say one of the key skills is digital. Uh, how can we measure, first of all, sustainability without digital? We need digital to understand our sustainability performance. And also, how can we coordinate our operations that produce all that carbon output without very good information management? So I would say that's a huge area of improvement. The second area where, again, we can make huge progress is better acknowledgement of sustainability as a key performance indicator. It's not just about cost, time, quality and safety. Sustainability has to play a very key role in our decisions, both across the planning, the design, the construction, the maintenance, and the operation phases. Do you think we have the right skilled personnel in order to execute a digital twin for all the industries today? Uh, no, we don't have the skills yet, but that is actually the, something that's been developed in parallel with the technology. Quite a lot of the researchers that are building these technologies are the future educators and developers that will take those systems and bring them to practice. We're doing some of that work here uh, with companies we're starting or with our industry partners. And I know that the rest of the sector is also working in that space quite effectively. As a final question, what is your vision for the future of sustainable construction? What do you hope the industry can achieve in terms of energy efficiency? If we want to be efficient, we have to do, in my view, the same things if we want to be cost efficient, time efficient, and so on. And that is to start looking at assets as a combination of physical versus digital, and as a product versus process and try to do significant improvements across the quadrants created around this. So under the physical process side, uh, automation and robotics. How can we automate our processes a lot better and save energy that way? Under our physical product side, um, how can we convert our existing inert materials into smart materials, aware of their state and properties, assisting their maintainers and users? Under the digital product side, it's the whole space of digital twins and information management and how can we leverage data through the smart materials, through the robotics, and into the digital twin to make better decisions. And under the digital process size, 
I think that's the crowning achievement. How can we use data science to take all of these decisions and all that information from the digital twin and drive insight from that into the entire life cycle of the asset? And of course, all of that underpinned by sustainability as one of the key directives. That's brilliant, Dr. Yanis. Thank you for your time today. Exciting times for the construction sector. Thank you. You're welcome.